streaming my first um, video about uh, opening traps, about interesting uh, sharp opening variations, like uh, I promised it yesterday. Yeah, because I see that very often my students uh, made uh, wrong moves uh, in the opening. So that's why it makes sense to create a series of uh, videos about about uh, just uh, opening traps and uh, um, and modern opening lines. So, but the most important for sure it's just traps, just uh, um, the most typically traps, uh, most typically mistakes in the opening. So that's why this is yeah my goal. Just one second, I will. I will fix my chat. Yes, I guess it's fine right now Just one second. I will check. Yeah, I'm fine here. Just one second, please. Something wrong with my chat. Yeah, I guess. It's fine now. I hope it's fine. Yeah, it's fine now. So yeah, and uh, my first um, uh, so my goal, first of all, it's create uh, not too difficult for uh, everybody, also not too long. So I'm thinking about uh, about short video, so it's not hour, uh, so maybe just something like 10-20 minutes. But uh, so first of all, I will uh, sh show you. Uh, part of game where why I decide to choose this uh, opening this uh, opening trap then uh, main line a few main lines uh, then uh, five six uh, games uh, in the same in the same opening in the same uh, variation uh, for your understanding, 
so I will just uh, show you one, maybe two games. Uh, other you can check uh, when you will have time, so you can find uh, my study on uh, leeches, uh, and uh, it's free, so you can. I will leave a link on the study. So why I decide to start with fried liver chicken? Uh, because oh, <laughs> chicken, <laughs> fried liver attack. I guess I'm hungry. Uh, if I start talking about chicken, uh, so because yesterday I played against Kevin and uh, in this position, yeah, he take on d5, which is um, not the best solution because here knight a5 typically move or even b5 also uh, very very interesting variation but uh, let's take a look what's happened in our after knight d5 yeah so knight d5 here and uh, then yeah very typically uh, take on f7 so after take on f7 we have uh, fried liver attack uh, but uh, engine also uh, show me that d4 is also available and d4 actually it's looking so sharp so for example here so d4 uh, fighting for the center open d file and also protect this knight and then um, very sharp uh, variations here so knight d4 c3 so we have x-ray on d5 um, but then b5, so b5, then uh, bishop d3. So of course, if bishop b3, then just trade this bishop. So but uh, bishop b5 still attacking this knight, still b5 under attack if this knight will run away. Uh, then h6. So then he start attacking our knight. And then again we can uh, sacrifice our knight, king f7, then take this knight, so we should be 4, so it's, uh, <laughs> then you see, he open uh, e-file, so then, yeah, very interesting uh, and sharp position, so for players who like play this kind of positions would be just perfect, so queen f3, king g8, so king on g8 looking weird queen d5 knight d5 still not really solid and then we have something like that so still a uh, little little bit better for white because the skin can looking not good uh, so just this knight actually for now not so perfect but uh, I guess yeah, white little bit better anyway. So this is what uh, can happen on d4. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I take on f7 because I remember that white uh, will have very strong attack here. So queen f3 for sure, and uh, king e6. Yeah, king e6 is uh, I guess the main line here, but uh, Kevin just moved king e8. And after his move king e8, uh, then actually not too many troubles. So bishop d5 and queen f6 was better actually. So here bishop d5, queen f6 better. And then after this trades, yeah, uh, rook e1, I played d4, but actually b3 was better. b3, bishop b2. Yeah, but still I have. Uh, I take e5 and uh, extra pawn, uh, so it was just simple uh, position for white. But after king e6 it's not so simple, uh, yeah, king in center, um, but white actually down a piece. So that's why white have for sure some compensation for his piece, uh, because king in center. So then, uh, very typically to use this pin for now to attacks to defenders. So knight c3. Then uh, two available options. So knight b4, knight e7. 
97 looking pretty passive. That's why 9b4 it's not only protecting but also attacking c2. So um, then uh, if you will check engine, he will show you a bunch of continuations. So castling actually, I believe it's first line, king d1 and uh, queen e4 for sure. Uh, before yesterday I was sure that queen e4 it's main line, but no, castling it's uh, main line. And let's check what will happen if queen e4. So queen e4 c6, a3, knight e6, yeah, so. And here also interesting that uh, queen e5 looking like uh, logically, but uh, not the best one. So here actually f5, f5, and then attack takes this with f pawn. But if queen e5, king f7, and then uh, would be idea bishop d6, rook e8. So then I guess, but it's available. But uh, white will open e file. White will help to. Uh, develop this bishop faster and probably uh, uh, black will able to create some troubles later. So that's why even f4 and then take with this pawn. Yeah, and actually after this continuation, uh, yeah, black uh, still undeveloping, but right now they have uh, extra, <coughs> extra piece and uh, there is no I can't find like very uh, strong attack for white, so that's why um, that's why here uh, looking like no troubles for black. Uh, one second, I will answer in chat. So, uh, yeah, so that's why actually Queen E4, it's not the best one. So, and Giant show that castling the best here. <laughs> Uh, then, for example, c6, d4, try to open king, queen f6, queen e2, so for sure uh, not make sense to trade queens. And this is a yeah, very typical mistake for uh, kids, for beginners, so never, uh, never trade your pieces when you are down the material. So it makes sense to trade pawns, but not pieces. Uh, so then we have this position so with uh, open file d with f e pawns so bishop c5 and still uh, white is better so they they have a terrible bishop king can center uh, uh, good pawns which will uh, white will push them soon and uh, so castling looking like more helpful than queen f4. So this is actually was surprise for me as well. Uh, I didn't uh, check a line with king d1, but it's also available. Uh, also, I believe there is even knight, even pawn f4 available, something like that. So it's pretty sharp uh, continuation and uh, lots of interesting lines so for sure uh, king k6 here is main line because king g8 king k8 is just uh, will take this knight without any troubles king g8 it's just made yeah uh, so that's why here yeah after knight c3 knight before is the most active and then will start a very interesting sharp uh, game. Then, uh, so this is yeah, a short, uh, so I just show you a few variations, just uh, main lines. Yeah, uh, there's some more in uh, uh, 
variation tree here so you can check my study uh, this study on uh, leeches on yeah and uh, but for now I want to show you some games uh, I have here nine no eight games uh, all of them it's on high level players title players so first two it's just uh, famous players Jigalko Jigalko it's uh, GM from Belarusia and for sure you know about Shiro Shiro it's also famous GM uh, and uh, other so all these players are at least uh, 2400 so that's why it's high level and you can find uh, very interesting ideas and uh, variations so let's take a look quickly a uh, game against G uh, Jigalko and Agdestein so uh, here everything as usual and f7 yeah check king e6 so knight c3 and knight e7 so knight e7 already not um, so good like knight before a little bit passive uh, that's why castling c6 and then d4 so the same idea you see d4 it's uh, very typically here we need to open this king and uh, king d6 uh, yeah king d6 then pin this knight then attacking e5 uh, then this king looking not good at all uh, and then yeah black squares actually also a weak because knight on e7 so he blocked his own bishop and then uh, very difficult uh, to protect black squares around and here uh, uh, repetition uh, maybe white was not sure which uh, variation better uh, and then a4 so a4 and a5 then attacking e6 bishop and knight g6 okay knight g6 he won but he cannot trade so knight g6 yeah just queen d4 with check c5 and queen d3 already with uh, with queen b3 with take d5 yeah so he pinned this knight and then yeah uh, eliminating defender take on d5 and then already we have threat queen b3 and take on b7 b6 and mate so yeah this is a very good example how active white pieces must be here so how this king uh, will how this uh, king was uh, annoying for his own pieces so he just blocked his uh, queen then his bishop and white have uh, very strong attack and second game uh, so everybody know that sheriff it's uh, very sharp uh, very active player sharp tactic player so uh, that's why uh, let's check this game so uh, now it's everything as usual but then uh, this is also actually available continuation I um, find an engine so yeah uh, so we just sacrifice rook but there is no uh, defender for this knight so king d1 so this is yeah this is typically sheriff so he just uh, sacrificed his rook but uh, then uh, he will attack black king and knight d5 knight d5 so uh, this knight anyway will stack here at least we will have two minor pieces against rook so it's already fine plus king uh, in center so it's already better for white uh, king d6 so for sure we need to escape uh, out of uh, this uh, x-ray and let's check how uh, sheriff will proceed this uh, game so d4 anyway 
you see so this is very typically how we can to open this king uh, and uh, is it on e6 or on d6 anyway d4 it's coming uh, bishop e6 uh, rook e1 e1 attacking e5 b5 and knight uh, b4 so if takes this queen c6 yeah this is what, what's happened in game uh, queen c6 here rook e5 i guess no b ah yeah bishop g5 bishop g5 yeah we will win this queen but uh is it any better uh, than this move here so protect c6 um, if bishop c4 queen c6 here anyway here uh what else queen d7 i i guess even can take this uh what yeah looking looking not good here already so how to proceed queen e8 uh queen e8 But queen a8, even, even, even. Maybe queen a8, not so bad like other variations. But uh, yeah, his opponent takes this bishop, so check here, uh, win this bishop, uh, win this queen. And then almost done here, so e6 hanging, then attacking again d5. So king on g8 also looking not good. And d6. d6. And uh, yeah, rook is 6 and then sacrifice this rook. So rook g6, then yeah, take this here. And take this. And so winning position. So yeah, so here actually also very interesting uh, variation with a3. So it's very interesting actually. So if you uh, like to play sharp position, so this is just perfect for you. And actually, I guess for players who don't uh, really know this variation, it's just uh, very nice continuation. So actually, uh, I never played bishop c4, like yesterday I just played accidentally bishop c4, but um, this is very interesting variation with sacrifice this uh, rook, and then almost all your pieces attacking black king, so yeah, this is uh, very interesting. So, uh, so guys, yeah, I, uh, I will not analyzing these games you can check them uh, after if you want to it's also interesting games so you see uh, this is how we can learn our openings our traps so first of all we take a look at our theory our main lines and then we can uh, find uh, short games uh, because why short games uh, it's not because uh, we are close in time and we need to save some uh, time no uh, short games because uh, there are lots of mistakes and there are typically mistakes uh, so one of the opponents blundering and other just use this blender so that's why it's typically mistakes and uh, that's why it's very helpful to know uh, where is mistake and uh, why it's mistake uh, this is actually not short games, uh, but uh, because this is actually not so uh, popular variation, so uh, I tried to find in my books and I didn't find just the same variation, but I find in uh, chess bases uh, lots of games, yeah, so I just find the most uh, titled players games and uh, because looking like not a very popular variation, but even uh, so uh, strong players like Shirov, uh, like Zhigalko, like Solodevnichenko, they uh, use this variation, so uh, 
uh, so it's playable and it's uh, very uh, very dangerous weapon so that's uh, that's why yeah uh, first of all take a look uh, theory then uh, you can take a look at these games attentive then you will find uh, uh, main ideas uh, typically threads, typically variations, typically ideas. So here uh, we just take a look to games and we already find few ideas. So first of all, that's as usual, he will attack an our pawn. Uh, then uh, d4 was also very typically. Sometimes uh, Castling sometimes just leave him in center, but d4 was in both games. So it's very typically because we need to open our bishop as fast as possible because uh, white are down materials, so they need to attack uh, fast and aggressively uh, black king. Okay guys, so uh, I will I will leave uh, this I will leave this link so uh, I will leave this link on my uh, YouTube channel if you uh, if you are a Twitch follower, so just uh, leave comment. I will send you in private messages this link, or just check my YouTube, and then uh, you will find this link where, and you will find my uh, study on light chess, and you will able to uh, check attentive these games and find your typically uh, typically ideas for uh, fried liver attack. So this is uh, that's it for today. I will create more uh, this kind of videos about uh, other uh, chess traps, opening traps, and uh, interesting chess variations, and will post it uh, as fast as possible. So uh, follow my Twitch, my YouTube, and uh, we'll see you later, guys. See you. Bye.